Hey guys, this is Michael from Marshall Gamers. Today, me and James are going to be talking about World of Warcraft Cataclysm. So, James, um, what do you think of the new Cataclysm? Well, um, to be honest, they're bringing a lot of new features which seem pretty cool, but they are making a couple of mistakes along the way. Interesting. What about you? Same, really. It looks like there's going to be a couple of new features I'm really looking forward to. A couple of new class combinations. A few of them I'm still trying to work out how they're allowed to do that. But, yeah, mostly it looks like it's going to be an interesting game. So should we start looking at some of these new things? Firstly, the most obvious one is with a new expansion. Level cap's increasing. This level cap's going up to 85 now, not a full 10. Why do you think that, James? Just um, there's a lack of area to level in, really, because they're not really bringing a new area into it, are they? I suppose, I suppose. Okay, yeah. Um, the new races, uh, the Worgen and the Goblins, which one do you think is more people are going to want to play more, James? Worgen for the win. Now you say that, although I, there are several reasons I think people will want to play the goblins, or have a goblin class at least. I'll get into that later though. Right, so, the wargons, they're getting the classes, the mage, the priest, the rogue, warlocks, warriors, druids, hunters, and death knights. But sadly, no shamans. Nope, no shamans. They have a number of different abilities. Dark Flight, which activates their true form, their werewolf form, and increases movement speed by 70% for 6 seconds. Um, they have Viciousness, that basically is a passive ability that increases all damage done by 1%. They reduces the duration of all curses and diseases by 15%, it's going to make them great against warriors and death knights. Overpowered. <laughs> Just a tad. Um, Skinning skill increases by 15, and they have two forms, which is their ability to swap between forms. Although I don't think that's going to affect stats in any way at all. So you could spend your time looking just like a human, most of the time, and not suffer up except for losing out on your dark flight. Now the right. Is it an automatic change from human to wagon when you enter combat? No, it's not. You'll fight in your human form or in your wagon form until you click on true forms. The only difference will be aesthetics, yeah? Uh -huh. No stats, nothing else changes because of it, as far as I can see. Yeah? Yeah. No, nothing changes. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the goblins now. The goblins get mages, priests, rogues, warlocks, warriors, shamans, James, hunters, and death knights. All the overpowered classes. Yes. Although, their abilities now, they have the rocket jump, allows them to jump forward like a boost. They have a rocket barrage, which is an attack. Um, they have time is money, so they get a 1% increase on attack speed. They get best deals anywhere, this is the good bit. They always get the best discount, regardless of faction standing. That means you can go up to your... Um, guy and buy an item as if you were um, exalted. You can't buy an exalted reputation item, but you can buy the friendly items as if you were exalted, yeah? So you just get the discount then? You just get the discount, you don't get access to the items. Okay. Um, they get a pack hobgoblin, which allows them to access their bank every 30 minutes for one minute. Um, they have better living through chemistry, that basically means their alchemy is at 15 when they started it. These are probably going to get nerfed within the first 15 seconds. Something like that. No, they'll get they'll get nerfed after all the um, Chinese and Koreans go on them for gold farming. Yeah. Yeah. Hackers. Um, yeah, James, we all know about hackers, don't we? Um, they've added the new race combinations, James. Have you seen them yet? Yeah, Tor and Paladin. I, you know, that's one of the ones that I fail to see how that could happen. Because mo most of the other ones seem to make sense in law, yeah? yeah? So let's go through them. The Drenai aren't getting any changes, are they? No. The Dwarves are getting Mages. Okay, they they have magic already. They're getting Shamans. Mm, not too fond of that. 
don't see how. They're getting warlocks. I understand they could be taught warlockery from the gnomes, yeah? Wow. It's great. Study that warlockery. Yeah. Um, and the humans get hunters. I don't see a problem with that because, let's think of it, the night elves, the gnomes, the dwarf no, not the gnomes. The night elves, the dwarfs, and the drenar are all hunters. It's amazing the humans have taken this long to pick it up. Um... Blood Elves get warriors, about time, to be honest. Um, I don't think so. Why not? The scrawny race of the game, they should not be warriors. <laughs> I see, James, I see. Um, okay. Forsaken get hunters. Got a problem with that? No. No, well, if the humans are getting hunters, dead humans might as well get it as well, and considering <laughs> their queen is a hunter... Yeah, I was thinking why they didn't put that in at the start of the game, to be honest. Yeah, the goblins obviously are getting all their new races. Um, orcs get paladins. Mm, not too... No, they don't get paladins. The orcs get... Mages. Not too keen on that. Not at all. No, not really. They're not a magic race, are they? They have their weird spirit voodoo, but they're not allowed the mag real magic. Although they have had warlocks, but that's not real magic either. That's the only change they're getting. The Torans are getting paladins and priests. How can Torans have paladins and priests, James? Holy cow. <laughs> had to be said. No, that makes no law sense whatsoever. No. Trolls getting druids. No problem with that. No, not really. Considering if you go to any of the troll-based dungeons, you, their bosses all shapeshift like druids, so... As long as their bear form and cat form look different, I'm not bothered. So yeah. Oh, they're also getting warlocks, which is about time, to be honest. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, any other decent classes? F um, ability to fly anywhere due to Az Azeroth revamp. Blood Elf and Drenai starting zones will be instanced. That means you can't fly over them until you've... Um, they're still instanced, yeah? Yeah, you can't yeah. get them unless you have your Burning Crusade. But yeah, yeah well, flying in Azeroth, that's a problem. How are they going to get money out of us for that? Are they going to say, you flew in north in Outland because it was less gravity, you flew in north end because the wind helped you, you need to learn how to fly in normal air. It's going to cost you another 2,000 gold. <laughs> the secondary profession yeah. of archaeology, we'll talk about that some other time. Um guild advancement system, which has since been scrapped, I think. Yeah, the guild talents and it was being scrapped. So that's not there anymore. Uh, battlegrounds. Reforging allows um, a percentage of one of the uncommon epic items, secondary stats. So you can convert it to another secondary stat. Um, yeah. Mike, I'm just reading here that there's changes to some major cities. What was this? Um, the Stormwind, Ogremond, City, and Thunderbluff. Yeah. Oh, the moving Thunderbluff. What? How do you up move a mountain? You break it down. Let, let's just lift this. Well, I suppose they are Torrens. Let's just lift the mountain. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Get enough Definitely is awesome. We can do anything. Yeah. But yeah. Stormwind looks like it's getting a major change. I've seen it. It looks amazingly good. Um, Something you guys may want to check out, since we've not explained it very well. Here. No. Um, number of stat changes. Best main one being attack power, um, removed from gear now. If you, depending on your class, you'll either get it from strength or from agility. So yeah, um, stay tuned as me and James will bring you more information on specific classes. Um, and other areas that will be changed. Um, and thank we won't say erm um, as much. We won't say erm um, as much, no. So thank you for listening, and hope we see you some other time.